So I just spent the last 30 minutes looking for my SD card. have to be more responsible when it comes to this card like that's the memory card in the camera I'll take it out and plug it in the computer when I'm editing and then just leave it so the kids probably gonna touch the computer move to this place that place and then I'm like okay I lost it and I have lost all my content I've lost my content twice already and it's very discouraging and very heartbreaking so I just need to find another way I need to find a more secure way I need to do better basically anyway hey family how are you um i am amazing if you must ask um i got a dm and somebody was like for somebody who was just sad you sure are smiling and i have this weird complex it's like no matter what i'm going through i don't care what it is heartbreaking devastating death whatever it is i can't somber in the moment like you know i'll periodically get sad and when i do that y'all know i go on instagram and sing my fuck nigga songs because <laughs> this is what i do but i'll periodically just feel down and i'll be in a moment for like 10 minutes after that i'm over it <laughs> life is too short too blessed like i just cannot be sad i can't I can't sit here and just be depressed. I think because I've been through so much already, like I can't I can't waste no more time living in hurt. So no matter how I'm feeling, no matter what I'm going through, no matter what challenges I'm facing, it'll hit me hard for them couple minutes and then I'm like, bro, you gotta get up. You gotta focus up, figure out what you wanna do about it. Let's go, let's get it. Like I can't I can't do it. I cannot. So that's just the way that goes now i just finished cleaning the house I, I really tore this house down with some cleaning i didn't record it because i live in a box how many times y'all want to see me clean up this box there he goes there he goes he's up from his nap hey son and my baby's sick you want to come say hi to the camera or you just was coming to say hi to me Carter is very aware of how to open up all the doors in the house so if you don't lock the door he's gonna come barging in but that's him attempting to get in again because I locked it this time. So he's going to yell through the hole of the door. What's good is this? I don't even know what we were talking about. But, oh yeah, I said I cleaned up. I didn't record it because y'all tired of seeing me clean up my box. Maybe when I clean out like the linen closet or the big closet, so I record that. But how many times can you see me clean behind these couches? I don't understand. I'm tired. I don't want to watch me clean no more. So I know you don't want to watch it. Girl. Speaking of things to watch, y'all know I don't watch TV. Like, I try to watch TV. <sighs> See what happens is, right? Let's say I'm folding laundry. If I'm folding laundry, I'll turn the TV on. I'll watch the TV. Law and Order, Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, 911. Those are my shows. I'll watch that while I'm folding laundry. After that, I'm over it. If I'm trying to go to sleep, I'll put the TV on with the intent to watch it. And then I'm on YouTube um how does that happen i i will legit put on a movie put on the news put on something i have all intent on watching and then i'll just get on youtube and the tv's watching me be on youtube how does that happen i don't understand and now i'm at the point where i need somebody to watch on youtube like y'all leave in the comment section down below your favorite youtubers and i'll go check them out you know let me know who you genuinely enjoy watching a channel that i genuinely enjoy watching is the bells plus two she's dope she's amazing it's her husband her two kids they're awesome they're amazing i think her personality is dope i do see a lot of me in her she's hella funny hella animated just like me i'm gonna leave her name right across the screen i'm also gonna leave her channel down in the description box below go check her out and like i said if you have any youtubers that you enjoy watching leave them down in the comment section below so i can go check them out i'm always here for a new person to watch because i be on here just watching people now we're about to get into life i'm gonna take a shower i'm going to comb my hair and i'm gonna put some wig braids in it i'm not gonna secure my wig down but i am gonna put it on and put a hat on <laughs> illusion and um i'm gonna secure it later you know i'm gonna go to the grocery store i'm gonna pick up a few items i'm gonna cook some mashed potatoes tonight what i'm cooking it with what i'm cooking it with y'all um i don't think i figured that one. oh turkey wings 
I'm cooking it with turkey wings. Always eating turkey wings. I love turkey wings. So let's go run to the supermarket. Let's come home. Let's cook dinner. Let's get life. And don't forget, head over to the Bells Plus 2 and check out their channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and let her know that Jasmine sent you. Let's go get life, ladies. So I just dropped the kids off to school and Leslie's with Carter. Today's his day off. So on his days off, he's gonna come stay with Carter for the day. And I'm gonna like full shop, do laundry, do all my errands, get everything done. So it's like 7.30 in the morning and I'm going to the supermarket. Let's go to the supermarket. kitchen is blown out and it's not like um regular light bulbs it's like some that hurt it it's like some long stick light bulbs and it's like a lot to take out and put back in maintenance actually has to do it so this is this is about as much light as we getting in this kitchen right now so i'm going to be putting away groceries as i'm putting the groceries away i'm going to show you what i bought as you know i go full shopping weekly because i budget weekly this week I'm really proud of myself because I went under my budget. Usually my budget for the week is $200. I always go over it, but I managed to only spend $153, so kudos to me. I got the kids their ice cream. Whenever these are on sale, these were on sale for $2.99. I got some syrup. The Anchi Mama brand syrup is really expensive. I don't know why it's so expensive, so I didn't get it. And I got some popcorn for the kids for movie night. I got my turkey wings. Y'all know I love turkey wings. We love turkey wings in here. I got some bacon. In my opinion, bacon is expensive as well. But these were on sale three for ten dollars. Pound of spice ham, and I got one pound of Genoa salami. I got the kids some French toast sticks. They enjoy these for breakfast. I have some pretzels. Faith loves these pretzels. Do I have to keep these in the refrigerator? Keep frozen, yeah. Pound cakes, my kids love pound cakes. They take these to school. I got some Oreos. This is for the kids to take to school. I got two packs of strawberries. I got oranges. I got some grapes. And I have some blueberries. I have some grape tomatoes. I have some fish sticks. I would say these are for the kids, but these are actually for me because I really like them. Some heavy whipping cream because I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes. I have some potatoes for my mashed potatoes. I have some string cheese because the kids really love string cheese. I have some cucumbers. They was on sale for for $2. I have these spicy noodles. Alyssa loved these noodles. I have these cup of noodles for when I wanna tell the kids to go make their own damn lunch because I'm tired. I have the little doll and oranges. A milk, we drink 1% milk. I have a jug of water because for some reason the kids always forget to refill the water bottle. Chef Boyardee because Faith told me that she likes them. I don't know how true this is y'all, but we're gonna find out. But That was everything that I bought from the supermarket. I had to move into the bathroom because the light in the kitchen is horrible because the light is blown out and the bathroom is the only place where there's like decent lighting. So yeah, that was about it. We're going to cook some mashed potatoes. We're going to make homemade mashed potatoes. And um, yes, I know you probably do yours a little differently. Leave in the comment section down below like what you do different, how you make yours differently. You know I like things done quick and easy. So if you're about to say go grow the potatoes first, since I'm not doing it, I want to try it. But let's get into cooking. And of course, there's no need for me to explain how to make turkey wings because y'all have seen me make this a million times before. It is my favorite meat. But still, I'll leave the link in the description box below on how to make these turkey wings. Okay, now we're gonna be making some homemade mashed potatoes. 
Um, everybody like to use different potatoes. Sometimes I like to keep the skin on my potatoes, but if I was doing that, I would use red potatoes. These are just a regular bag of potatoes. No, no special potatoes, regular potatoes. So we're going to get these cut, cleaned, and then I'm going to show you the next thing. Right there. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Acting like a typical side nigga. Always gotta make his presence known. What's this right here? Get away from me. Take your son. Be blessed. Alexa, play breakup to make up. So as I was chopping them up, I had them soaking in water to clean them and see things like this, that little skin. If you see any little skin left over, you can just peel it right off. So I just went through really quickly, made sure wasn't no bruises, wasn't no extra skin left over on there. And these are clean. These has been soaked. I use cold water and they're all clean because you know potatoes are very, very dirty. We're gonna drain this excess water off and then we're gonna put them in water. After you put them in a the pot, you want just enough water to cover it. It doesn't matter, don't get iffy about the water. You're gonna drain it anyway. And we're just gonna let these boil until they're to our tenderness. Like when you can put the fork directly through without any struggle, you know it's done. So we're gonna let that boil. Like I said, you'll know when the potatoes are done because they'll be tender and you can stick the fork straight through. And it'll also look like this. I put, I'm putting some garlic sauce and some salt and some butter inside. Also, I'm putting some heavy whipping cream. Like I said, some people add cream cheese. People just remix this any way they want. I like mine's just nice and good and to the point. Some people like theirs really, really creamy. Some people like theirs watery. Some people like theirs super thick. I like mine's not chunky where I'm tasting chunks, but I do like mine's to be thick. I don't like it too creamy or too watery. I like mine just like this. How that taste? So everybody was like, Uber Eats really disrespected me and they didn't send me a real Popeye's chicken sandwich. And that really got in my head. So I said, you know what? I'm going to stand on this long, ridiculous line to wait for a chicken sandwich. Because this is ridiculous. Like, Uber Eats is already disrespectful with their prices. But I'm like, come on now. They're not going to send you no fake chicken sandwich. Like... Really, it's a whole establishment. So we have a temp two at the Popeye's chicken sandwich, and it actually comes in a Popeye's bag that says chicken sandwich. So I got one for Michaela, the regular. I'm guessing this is regular because the spicy would be marked spicy. And is this the spicy one? How would you know the difference? Is there nothing marked? How would you know the difference between the spicy and the regular? Okay, so first things first, the bread looks completely different, okay? Yo, I'm really about to dispute Uber Eats. They gave me a sandwich from Crown's and called it Popeye's. Yo, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. He probably ate my chicken sandwich and went and bought me a chicken. That's what the Uber Eats people been doing. They've been stealing chicken sandwiches and picking up a regular one and slinging Popeyes on the side. Oh no, I'm contacting Uber Eats. So this is it. The bread looks extremely different. Look at the sandwich from last time. I'm gonna insert it in now. That bread looks so different. 
Look, even the chicken look. Let me taste this sandwich. Away. 